chicken dude. Chick got taken down. No, I changed your guys' names on there. <laughs> oh, you did? Yeah. Yeah, sorry guys. This, uh, I just had to. I just finished. Oh, it's not chicken dude anymore? No. I want to be dude. I don't mind being chick. You know what we are, though? That's really cute, actually. Three men and a lady. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about that oddly enough in the shower the other day. I was like, oh, three men and a lady. Listen, do me a favor. Do me a favor. Please don't fucking think about me in the shower. <laughs> Wait, I you cannot believe that you just read my yeah. lines. I am impressed. That's amazing. Gay. Pretty, pretty soon we're going we're gonna to sync up. <laughs> Wait, that's so amazing. I was going to post that this week, actually, saying yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah, you're not doing well, new, side, right? new name. <laughs> yeah, yeah. On your own account? <laughs> on my Insta story, smart asses. <laughs> Ugh, so annoying. Insta stories. First down, dog. I went into a darkness retreat on Sunday. <laughs> What'd you see? What? What'd you see? A lot of things. Saw the future of the Jets. Isn't that every Jets fan Sunday for uh, a couple months? What's yep. the future of the Jets? I think it's Kirk Cousins. Ooh. <laughs> One more. <laughs> remember when you remember when you got to sign him? I know. I'm ready. And then he and then he went to Minnesota and they're like, "What happened to the Jets?" He goes, "I just used them to get my pay, to get the money up there." He would not want to live. He's he not said a that. Guy. Yeah, he, he came out and said that. And he goes, "I used them." In order to, to bump up the money, I needed someone with a lot of money. We need somebody. Doesn't it feel like it's like a really messy start to the year? Does uh-huh. it always feel like I that? I think it always feels like that. First four weeks. Yeah. Super sloppy. First four weeks. First four weeks. Yeah. I think there's something to the preseason only being three weeks now. Absolutely. Like no quarterbacks play anymore. I feel like the first six yeah. to eight quarters is still preseason. Yeah. I agree. Feels like that. I felt like that way for the Giants, right? That was they're, yeah. they're they're, just terrible. I mean, Pittsburgh hasn't had a first down in the first quarter yet. They should think about that. Really? Maybe bring him back to yeah. preseason. A little gonna, bit more. Nobody's That's play, a though. lot of time. That's actually a really crazy stat. Yeah. And like force him to play or something because it's got to like it's the product is so bad right now. Who? And you have all of these guys getting hurt. I mean, injury is always a problem, but like it's bad. Tons of injuries this week. No, I thought there was a lot more in the last couple of years. I don't know. I, don't. I, I think that this week really hurt everybody. Dude, there's so there's many lot. stars out. But yeah. the, every year is the same thing. There's always a big quarterback that goes out. And yes. then there's a discussion about how are we going to do this. And then usually at the end of the season, there's another big quarterback that goes out. And you, you get John Wolford or fucking John Beck start a playoff game. But it's not even just quarterbacks. It's players. So, yeah. It feels bad. Like and the shot. turf thing... Why hasn't that exploded this week? Because Dobbins also tore his Achilles on mm-hmm. turf. Listen, but guys will tear their stuff on grass as well. Exactly. They did turf because it was safer. Isn't that why every single place got turf? No, that's not why. No, no it's easier. No, because they're trying to turn over for another event. Yeah. Oh. It doesn't yeah. get But did you see, I think it's the turf in uh, Atlanta. No, not Atlanta, Arizona. It like walks itself outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Maxie's always talking yep. about it. Like it just. Like when the event's over, it just takes a walk outside and like goes and gets sun, and then it'll come back inside. It's crazy. It's like crazy. fucking bonkers the way they do it. Wait, if you get the what? lantern flies to drag it. Meaning, it's, a, they, it's move, all like a, they move it. Like it yeah, but it's, it's like it can come up, the whole thing can move together. In yeah. Like, in like gigantic sections. It's awesome. How's your knees? What do you mean? Chubb's not good. He's only got one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that poor man. So, That's messed up. I love Chubb. I, I love Chubb. But the that new was, Monday Night Curse? Yes. Listen, Have you seen that? What's the, yes. the last four Monday nights? Mm-hmm. You had uh, Kyler Murray tore his ACL. Damar Hamlin died. Mm-hmm. Aaron Rodgers <laughs> ruptured his Achilles. Jesus. I forgot and then about. Chubb it. broke his fucking everything. I forgot yeah, about. Yeah, I saw that. I was Murray. thinking that's the I last four Monday nights that was going to happen again what? this year. Someone did you died? see the guy on Pittsburgh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got wobbly. Yeah, that was weird. Did he get hit funny? No, he was he was lining up for a field goal kick or a punt, either one. And he was turning back. He was talking to the kicker or the, or the place kicker or whatever. And then he came back and he went down to one knee and he was like calling for help. He was like calling it off. They didn't even charge him a timeout. The fucking the Cleveland Brown uh, coach was like, yeah. the fuck? That's a timeout. That's yeah, a yeah, timeout. That's a timeout. <laughs> How is it not? No, the guy They're probably died. so who scared cares? after last year. I was not who cares, but. Right. I know what you're saying. Like if you die <laughs> during the play, that's a timeout. Or like we'll get you in a second. Just stay right there. 
DraftKings. <laughs> Stay right there. I think the DraftKings thing that I was texting you guys about last night might make me switch to DraftKings because, like, Vandal's like such a fucking they, – they have dicks. Yeah. They've, like, asserted themselves as just the best. They don't give any money back. Yep. Well, they were the original, right? I think both of them were kind of, like, at the same time, yeah. But, like, how is – that's crazy. They gave back the money for Rodgers. They gave back the money for Chubb last night. Did they really? They gave back the money for Rodgers, too? If you had a, like, same-game parlay or whatever parlay you had where that was the one leg Only one leg that lost, They gave it back. Oh, that makes sense. That's nice. I think all the – I thought they canceled all the Rodgers – any Rodgers prop. And futures. And futures, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. It's awesome. Fans and fans don't touch you to go fuck yourself? Yeah. Wow. They're like, we're the best. That's crazy. <laughs> That's nuts. It's crazy. It's a bet for a reason. I'll tell you, I was looking at some, the, uh, some of the lines over the weekend. There is such a huge disparity. Like, being that there's so many different spots to gamble now, and there's so many, di- whether it's an app or a casino, like between, I want to say the, the biggest are probably Caesars, MGM, FanDuel, DraftKings, right? right. I'd say those are the big four, yep. essentially. And then there's so many other ones. But like ESPN's about to come out with another one in a couple months. There, there's a point and a half difference everywhere. So if you're betting a, a, a ton of money, you can shop that line. You can get different lines. Yeah. Like you can make a killing on that. Well, not to bring us back to horse racing, but if you go to London – there's not you don't just go to the ticket booth and buy get two dollars to one on a horse or whatever. They have brokers, and you could go to any oh, broker that you want. Really? Like a person they all have different odds. They're like a team. Oh. It's like a team. So they got their own window, and they might have that horse at three to one. The window over there might have that horse at two to one. Wow, it's oh, weird. Right? That is the most corrupt thing. That ever. is that crazy. Is That's so sketchy. Yeah, super sketchy. But are it's, they setting the lines off of each other? That I don't know. I've, not, I've, I've never been there. I just I just know that it's a di- there's a difference. It's not just house money. It's not just Belmont Park taking the money. It's not just the place taking the money. Hmm. But that's kind of the same thing. I mean, that's, yeah, that's why I stopped betting Caesar. Caesar's odds were awful. Yeah. They were always a little bit different and a little mm-hmm. bit higher than what I wanted. So. Yeah, was, my bookie used a site a couple of years ago. Not the site, my bookie, but my actual bookie used a, a, a different site. <laughs> and those lines were off by at least half a point or a point in every direction. It was bizarre. Like you, it's crazy. You know, you'd be watching like a pregame show, you'd be talking about it, and, like, oh, and then you go look at the thing, like, oh, that's not even close to the odds that they had. It's a big difference. We talk about the local teams. Any update for the Hartwick Hawks? They're not good. They're not good. <laughs> All right. Their offense sucks. Simple. The defensive end, number 51, shitty game. What about to talk to that kid. any prop bets on the fact that you guys' kids are on the same soccer team? Isn't that amazing? How'd you find that out? <laughs> he told me on Sunday. Rolling up to the soccer field, uh, this guy's yeah. standing there. Kurt, what time Kurt comes play? walking up. You know, he's got a chair, a water bottle, a bed, and there's kids everywhere. He's yelling at him. He's like, God, get over here. All right, you do this. Oh. Looking around, you're like, Jesus Christ, what is going on? And then you look, you're like, oh, my God, that's Kurt. <laughs> 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 I trying to corral them all in one spot. It's a lot Is to this handle. the first year your kid's playing? No. no. Oh, because I used to see you when I go, yeah, yeah, my yeah. best friend's kids play on But Sundays. his kid was literally on my team. It was amazing. They won. They How old are they? I mean, what what time do they play? One thirty. Oh. Okay. On Sunday? Yeah. It sucks. It's a joy. Me and this guy were just staring at our phone the whole time. Yeah. You know, cheering oh. here and there, but we not were staring for the, not at what's happening in front of <laughs> yeah. you. Yeah. Not there, for what was happening in the There was like a seven year old girl down with like a hurt her foot, and we were like, Yeah, we're high fiving. And everyone's looking at us like, Oh, they, they scored. They, yeah. <laughs> I realized last week that we like started with like the loser first, and that doesn't feel like the right way to start. Like, we got to start positive. What do you mean? Like, the who won the week? Oh, I thought you were saying you know? West, a pick. No, that, yeah, that's fine. Gotcha, think, gotcha. Like, a couple you of You said you want to start this off because you won five and one again? I went four. Go ahead. Four and one. Yeah. You're killing So did you. Yeah, but you got the the season long. You got four and one and four and yeah, one. You're on a streak. I know. We yeah. got it. You want to start it off. So it was the darkness retreat. You're heating up. You gotta keep that up. I had no idea what was happening. You gotta- <laughs> when I got to, I saw him at like four thirty. It was the first time I looked at anything. And it was like, oh my god, I'm, I won $190. All at one o'clock, too. You're like, <laughs> yeah. you're like, you're like I'm you done. I won. I'm, <laughs> I'm the big winner. That was nice. That was good. Yeah. Yeah, the Green Bay, that line change was insane. Yeah. Why was that a line change like insane. that? Insane. From Huge. minus one and a half to plus one and a half. Yeah, well, what was the reason for that? Was it, it, was, it was just betting? That, right? What's that? It was just betting on it? I guess. I don't know. I didn't hear anything of like why it moved that much. Had to have been That's just crazy. how much money was going one way or another. The sharps. Yep. Moving it. Um, what else? My wins. 
Tampa Bay minus three. Baker Mayfield still doing it. Stacking it up. Also, the Bears are awful once mm-hmm. again. <laughs> the Ravens Bengals game. Not that great of a game. The Bengals. I don't know what's happening there. I don't know what's wrong with Burrows. It's a calf injury. Burrows. It's Burrow. A ca- it's a ca- I'm saying Burrows every time. Every single time. It's a calf injury? That's the problem? That's I think so, uh, yeah. hurting his throwing arm? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> he's fine. Yeah, he's fine all right. He's 0-2. That's okay. He's 0-2. <laughs> he was 0-2 last year. He's was definitely- it really? And they went to the AFC Championship. Oh, I am basically Miss Burrow right now on this podcast. Miss Burrow. Wow. I'm coming back next week. <laughs> like Joe Burrow. Is he like definitely not playing this week? God, I, I think so, not. right? He's not playing. Definitely He's not, not playing. playing. I, I don't didn't think so. They rolled out yet. I think they no. might. That, that line hasn't moved. Who's the backup? I have no idea. I don't know either. Who I'm is it? Think I was trying John to Kidna. Kidna. No, I was trying to John Kidna. I love that guy. <laughs> he's a Detroit Lion, too. <laughs> who, was, uh, who was the guy with the glasses? Who, who used to play? <laughs> McMahon or whatever <laughs> his name was? Back <laughs> in the day. What, what? Jake oh, Browning. Oh, that was uh, the Bears, yeah, I think, fair. right? Yeah. It's Jake Browning. Who? Yeah, Jake Browning. Oh, it seems like 0-3. <laughs> <laughs> Remember Browning Nagel? Remember that guy? No. Uh, yeah, of course. Four and one, I'll take it. They didn't rule him out. Though, Four yeah. and one's big. Four and one's big. Two is even bigger. Yeah. It's nice. Eight two is huge, which is sweet. Huge. 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 You, I don't even know how you made it. What does uh, that mean? Every game I feel like you're gonna lose. I don't I don't understand how you oh, like get you. a W out of it. <laughs> You, you seem really, you seem really stressed when I saw you at 4.30. I was very stressed. I and just like, came from a stressful seven-year-old soccer game. Okay? <laughs> it's the walk from the car to the field that will get your blood pressure through the roof. <laughs> because you're walking with these morons that are, that are related to you. Assholes. And they're so fucking slow. Aren't all kids assholes? Yes, they're the worst. <laughs> of course, he would back you up. <laughs> Thank you. Asshole, Mark. I was just talking about like, this. But it's like you're walking. And you're like, all right, let's get to the car. We want to go home and eat some lunch, take a nap, watch some football. Not necessarily in that order. And you're walking. And it's like, oh, they found a rock that they're gonna <laughs> throw in the stream. It's like, get the fucking car. Wait, the game is over. We just did you for an hour and a half. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't understand why why we have to just prolong this awful awful event. I didn't see you with a chair on your back and a daughter on your shoulders either. I had to do that. No, I was 100 miles an hour in the car. You keep up. We got stuff to do. See, I didn't know that was happening. I thought it was just all your stressful bets that you always put in. That's why you were so... Oh, no, those I'm used to. I mean, that's, that's the normal stress. It's the stress of getting corralling children and getting them places. So you got to be there at one thirty every Sunday for the next whoa, whoa, six Sundays. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Support no, your family. Yes, you do. Stand in. Yeah, I'll catch the live stream. Stand My in. best friend, her daughter plays at one, her son plays at 1130, and she was like, hey, if you just ever want to come to the game, like we're around the corner. I'm like, Jenna, if there's football right now, so I can come to 1130, but <laughs> I have to see about the I gotta get the pregame. After I left, I was like thinking about it, like I was breezing in there. I had just done like a five mile hike in the morning, then I spent four hours at the beach, and this guy's like sitting at the bar, like. <laughs> The kid who's behind the bar is not refilling people's drinks, and I could just see the stress on his face. And I'm like, yeah, I gotta go. <laughs> we were also watching the Jet game, and after seven minutes, he was like, I'm leaving this. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That didn't help. I had that same. That but I've given up reaction. on them. What'd you say? I've given up on them. Oh, this week, week was hard. Three. Wow. I've emotionally unattached myself from them. You move quick in yeah. all directions. I'm a Niners fan now. It's pretty nice. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Last the last season we did this, he jumped at the pack. That's now right. You're nice <laughs> one. I don't even remember that. <laughs> that's right. But I think that's a healthy decision. Yeah. Instead of being depressed and miserable every Sunday, you root for a better team. Like you know, what's not healthy being a Jet fan. I was no, going to say you should just change year. that from the get go instead of starting out with them. No, you have to just have a backup team that gives you a little bit of happiness on a Sunday. Yours is Cincinnati, right? Burrows. Burrows. <laughs> Burrow. Kurt. At this point, I don't really know. You can the Niners. Plenty of room on the bandwagon. Niners are fun to watch. I'm amped for them. I'm amped for Purdy. Like, everybody was not you. You. All right, we'll see if they have a quarterback by the end of the year. <laughs> oh, my God. Kurt's the first one to fuck up all the graphics with a tie. Appreciate hey, listen. That. 
I got a gift with LA. I got a gift with the Rams. I'll take that win. Saints couldn't cover. For some reason, that was the only time they let that guy, uh, Bryce Young, go down the field <laughs> with no time on the clock, I that guess. That guy. Put some respect on his name. He's awful. Respect. Oh, he doesn't belong in the NFL. He's, he's two weeks in. He's not even emotional. He has nobody to throw the ball to in his defense. He's nobody. Not, he's not even emotional about anything. He has nobody. He has Adam Thielen. First of all, the Saints have weapons all over the field. They should have run those motherfuckers out them. of there. They should have absolutely killed them. The Saints are a disappointment to start the year. Yeah. I mean, Big a, di- time. a 2-0 disappointment, that's not a bad place to be. But still, like, they have the, like how are they not just scoring at will with those guys it's it's he's new. Is it Carr? Yeah, I mean it's he's new. He's happy though. He said he's having so much fun playing football again. You know what he didn't do is run for more than three and a half yards last night. <laughs> that was a problem. That is pathetic. I asked yes. her last night. I'm like, give me a couple problems. How do you I don't not even get three and a half yards? Power to look at this right now. She's like, he does. Oh, they're a car over three and a half yards. Got to get that. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, <laughs> got to get that. Brilliant. <laughs> and I totally forgot about fucking Taysom Hill. Oh yeah. So it's like, of course he's not gonna get three. He's not gonna. He's, he's not gonna run guy. anywhere. So. And then, Oops. last place. Katie. What place? One and four. Oh, 180 degrees from. Any North thoughts? Vegas. Mine. Just moving on. Yeah. No. I mean, no. First two weeks are hard. You keep They're saying hard. That. Next and two weeks are hard too. You keep saying that. Five and six might be a little bad. <laughs> <laughs> it is though. It is. Good I week. mean, yeah. No. All right, good week for us overall. 12, 7, and 1. That's winning if you bet with us. And then also, you got to stay dialed in on the weekend because there's a lot of props coming your way, a lot of horses, a couple high life hey. matches I got for this weekend. My running back prop came in as well. Yes. That was nice. That was you nice. did. You hit four of them, right? Was it a it was four? Three, it was three oh. running backs, but I used the boost. They all given boosts away like crazy. So many boosts. Yeah, I did are. that week one, actually, and I won all my money back. I do, I do like that. I thought, I thought I you did. I bet my Sunday first night, one. too. Getting into game. Oh, why was Zeke at twenty three yards for me? I don't know. There's it was no for way. me too. There's it was no. for you too, right? Yeah. I what are you using? I don't remember what I looked. At. I looked at a whole bunch of. I, no, I looked at uh, players one <laughs> Twelve. It wasn't. It was 12. double the number. Yeah. It was. That was too far. Luckily, I, I put all twenty four. That's crazy because he's he's fucking shot. There's no like twenty four was. I don't understand why it was so much. The guy had nine yards the first Well, when I, when I saw 24, I was like, all right, if, if they're going to give him one more chance, this is the game that they're going to give him the chance to run the ball, and he looked like dog shit. Well, with, with uh, Belichick, it's always, this game is yours. The next game is this guy. Like, it's always one. You never know. That's why it's always horrible to have a like Belichick yes. guys in your, on your team because he doesn't care about anything other than winning that day. Yep. There's no stats. There's no continuity in anything. But I, I, I mean, twenty four. I would have said no fucking way. I don't know. Maybe I was looking at something wrong. Like I was looking very quickly at that sheet that I sent you, yeah. and then I was looking at the the one bookie out that I use, players one, and I saw twelve and a half, and I was like, oh, he might have that. That four player like, prop hey. for like seven bucks was going to pay one twenty five. I know. I, I couldn't believe it. But I bet them all separate, so I made up at least good for you. You're always smarter doing that. You know, I'm always piling it up. Well, I had money. I was at zero before. <laughs> I went in that darkness cave <laughs> and came back and I had 190 bucks. And I was nice. Like, what am I betting on now? <laughs> I got to bet on the night game. <laughs> he was like Batman in the Batman, the last one where he goes to that little cave. And he comes yeah, out he and he's, like, out. he's suddenly strong again. His back doesn't hurt. It's like, oh, wow. It's crazy. It's the fucking horse racing is the problem. I got to get out of that. Because I was eight and one on college football on Saturday. And then I'm like, why do I have no money? Like I could put, I could put in my five bets and the five dollar parlay on my bets. What'd Thirty you bucks. College left. football. Everything. Florida kicked ass. Yeah. Your Colorado, Colorado State. State covered. Work, work. Just you. I. I took Houston. Yeah, that was a crazy game. I took Houston with it, and they didn't show up. Yeah, Houston. I lost on Houston. That was it. Bitch. Yeah. Picked the wrong one. I wanted to bet on USF because that was a terrible line, which they got it, but the payout was nothing. It wasn't worth the bet. I was a, I was an inch away of doing Alabama at halftime, coming back, you know, winning. I think it was like you know plus two eighty or something like that because they were down. Were they down at the half or it was like yeah, it, it was three zero. Right, yeah. and that Versus was my that would have been easy money. All right, season stats. Um, as a whole, we're seventeen, seventeen and one. We got to pick it up. Got to fix that. Got to fix that. Yep. I'm eight and two. Trip seven and three. Kurt five four and one. Katie's three and seven. <clears throat> It's fine. I'm coming back. I'm Joe Burrow. <laughs> I'm winning the next. What did he won twelve out of the fourteen at the end of the there season last year. All right, Miss Burrows. Win a week. Burrow. Most impressed with last week. I got one. Trip's gonna love this one. I 
Tua absolutely owns Belichick. Yeah. Agreed. I love Five and oh against Bill Belichick. He it's is. amazing. How is that possible? I don't know. But Chris Collinsworth completely called that game correctly. He said Bill Belichick's going to give them anything underneath yep. the entire time. Play yep. the game in the red zone. Not going to give you a Tyreek Hill. It's exactly yeah. what they did. Just the Patriots. They couldn't score. They couldn't score. Like for the first three quarters. They couldn't score. But they played they played that game perfectly and the exact way they designed that game. And Miami was just a better team. Miami's the better team. Full show. A lot of weapons. Yeah, a lot. A lot of weapons. Yeah. A lot. First place. I got one. You guys are gonna love this one. It's Puka. Something. No, it's not it's not Puka. Tutu? But he sure is impressive. Who is it? <laughs> It's the Commanders, folks. Oh, my freaking right? God. The Washington football team. I'm not playing team. a game here. Ten wide receivers he threw to, and they're giving the ball to Robinson. They were down 21-3. to three. They came back, took them over, took Russell Wilson and uh, Peyton, Sean Peyton's first win away. Impressive. Ten receivers is impressive. I think it's the definition Ten of impressive. Ten different targets. Yeah. I like them. Two and oh. Watch out, Giants. The NFC East is hot. Watch out. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out, Giants, to the toilet. The NFC East, I think, is like 7-1 and one or something like that. Like, their fucking record yeah. is crazy. Yeah. The Giants have the only loss, I believe, right? Sure, they should have had two. <laughs> <laughs> what else? Um, Mayfields. I'm actually on board with your with the box. Yes. I text my friends from school that are fans. I'm like, you guys might actually be really good. I wasn't sure about it week one. But Mayfield's had another solid week. Their defense is good. Um, I have a fun fact, actually. Tampa Bay was the worst team against the line last year with Brady. This year, they're two straight up and and against the spread. Let's go Bucks. Impressive. But they may be tested a little bit versus the Birds this this week. I feel like that's a true. Johnny Pelle is saying a lot of smart things in his record showing it. I'm gonna keep it going this week. Keep that trend up. I'm keep it going this week. You got the Bucks. Trip, you got anything? Um, the thing I was most impressed with is uh, not really football related, but it's a Detroit Lions fan and how horny he was at the game. <laughs> I saw that. I didn't I see saw it. that. Oh. I did not see it. So, I want to read these messages. Wait, what happened? No, but don't gonna, read them. Ah, what do you mean? What Wait, I, mean I didn't just, see it. Don't read them. You didn't see it. No. Can you read me. one? Show me yeah, right read now. One. Read right. one. I don't well, think I saw it. Okay, Katie, I'm going to need you to cover your ears. So there was a Detroit Lions fan. And there was someone sitting behind him, and this guy was texting. That's and apparently he was a little bit older, so his his bubbles were... Oh, no, I'm going to read them out. Okay. You're going to get very uncomfortable we're very quickly. I can't wait out. for this. <laughs> so his bubbles were very big. So this guy took screen, like pictures of him texting. First quarter, um, give me a few. I'm going home after this. Guy says, okay. Then, he, uh, then whoever is texting with him responds, then I'm f***ing myself for a while. Wow. You've got my f***ing throbbing. Oh, my God. <laughs> We're not we're not using this. <laughs> it's going to be beep, 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 well, beep. Like, to... <laughs> he responds with, if you can't first, then just video yourself. That's all you had to read. All right. What? We didn't need it's the P word. Wait, this, this made <laughs> this is there's two more. There's two more. No, that's not, it's not on Instagram. But he was texting. I mean, it gets worse uh, and dirtier. <laughs> And to be that level of horny in the first quarter, <laughs> right? He's got a long game left to fucking go. Fucking impressive. That. So that is my most impressive of last week. Was it's that like fucking spin. pay attention? Your team needs you, bro. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> no, no, no. no. This girl needed, needed him. No. How do you know it was a girl? She um, said he was he old, had, super old. She had a video. I don't couldn't really see. Oh, probably our age, a little, little, oh, little older. Wow. Couldn't really oh, see. The fact that he had to have the the zoom in, like the Johnny Mays right. font on his phone, <laughs> you know. Led me to believe he was a little bit older. Detroit fan. That was a good game, too. Why, why would he need to be texting like that? Seriously. All right. Wow. That's a fourth quarter <laughs> Okay. Wow. My biggest surprise was not that big of a surprise, but it's the Chargers. Ooh. They're the same surprise. old Chargers. The coach is terrible. He's going to have to go. He has yeah. to go. He's going to have to go. And like Justin Herbert, has there ever been a quarterback in history that's been crowned more than him and has done absolutely nothing? No big games. Nothing. Here's a fun fact. I don't really usually do these. I'm going to give you one. <laughs> I love that. They're the 33rd team in the Super Bowl era 
with 50 plus points and zero turnovers through two games. They're the only team to start 0 2. Wow. Wow. It's insane. Oh my God. Maybe they don't have a defense. That's they don't rough. Even play. Just load it up. Jesus. That's terrible. Chargers and Bengals. Surprised. Well, I had Joshua Kelly for 40 yards for a seven leg parlay, and he had 39. <laughs> <laughs> and they went to overtime. <laughs> you got a lot of Paul Lays going. I do. I, 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 <laughs> is I that all be you Kirk do is Paul Lays? Lays? I love Paul Lays. I got to feel really, out. really Change good. Your name. I got to feel really, really good about a team to just put money on that one team. It, the payout is just so much. It's better. It's so much juicier. Oh. <laughs> so, when you get it. <laughs> you get, dude, I won five this week. I was, I, I'm telling you, from week one to week two, it was like... I feel like I could bet everything now. And now next <laughs> week, I'm just going to crush. I'm just going to die. <laughs> uh, ah, who knows? Any yeah, other surprise? cut these real quick, though. Any other surprise? I don't know if it's a surprise, but it is for me on how bad the Jets did. Like, they didn't compete in that How's game that at all. Surprise. Yeah, Come go on. We can't go back to the Jets anymore. It's no, you, you're not surprised by how bad, actually, how bad they did. I, and did you see, so you saw the comment that I sent you guys about Sauce? They just got one. What's surprise, not surprising to me is that, like, it's not the talent on the field. They just got out coached out of the fucking stadium. Oh, it's oh, a little yeah. bit the online. line. I mean, a no, little bit. The fucking, the coaching is so bad. It's so like bad. the defense gets obliterated. The defense is built around. They have 10 defensive linemen. The defense has to get home. And they fucking played them perfectly. Perfectly. They moved CeeDee Lamb all over the field and the Jets couldn't adjust. And that's why that guy is the fucking head coach is because that's his defense. And he couldn't fucking change the defense. And then the same thing on the offense. Put fucking Wilson in the slot. Move him around. Everybody knows what he's doing every single time. Right. They line him up outside. He runs down the field. They fucking throw him the ball. The one time they run him across the middle of the field, it's a touchdown. Yeah. Do it again. Yep. It's just the coaching. Like Mike McCarthy fucking shit all over them. It was embarrassing. Embarrassing. I agree. Kind of the same thing with Pickens. Guy runs up through the middle of the field once. He gets yeah. a 70-yard touchdown. The rest of the game, they're throwing dump passes. To they the know, what to the every, know what they're going to do every single time. And you know what? It's going to happen again this weekend with the Patriots. Yep. It'll be a closer game, though. I don't think it's so. It's disappointing. <laughs> I got a, for my surprise, I got a, I'm going to give you a little blind resume. Let me, let me know if you guys know what I'm talking about here. This quarterback is 0-13 when his opponent scores more than 24 points. He's got 21 drives in 12 games, which have would have, would have won or tied the game. He converted one of them. On the one that he did convert, the very next possession that they got the ball back, all they needed was one first down to end the game. He threw a pick six. Russell Wilson. Nope. No. Oh, good guess. His defense has held an opponent to 24 or fewer points more than any other defense in the last three years. This guy's got a 3-12 record against playoff teams. He's 0-12 when they have the – he's 0-12, and, and he's had the ball with seven or less points to tie or go ahead in the fourth quarter. Herbert. Nope. Kirk Cousins. Nope. Jimmy? The wins, he's 3-12 and 12 against playoff teams. <laughs> say Jimmy. <laughs> You'll get an F. He's 3-12 and 12 against playoff teams. Those wins were – Against the Dolphins when Skylar Thompson was the quarterback. Against the uh, Titans with A.J. Brown Joshy and Derrick Henry out. Joshy Allen. And the and the Bills, he beat the Bills in the snow game where he threw three Matt passes. Jones. McCorkle Jones. Wow. Uh, is one of the you're worst. Picking, co- you're picking on a guy that your team just beat. Yes. This is what you he know why? Because you. he gets no, he, he's had no bad press. He gets no he shit. He will, though. He will. How is Look at it. Those stats I just read off are atrocious. He's not good. If he was a a top 20 pick or he was one of these guys that was going to be the face of the franchise turn around, they'd be talking about him as the biggest boss, and there's no way this guy starts his third year. This Now, granted, he had two offensive co- – co-off, whatever it was, co-offensive coordinators last year, fine. But he's a bad quarterback. It's a very bad, very boring offense. I agree. He should get more it's shit almost like for being so trying. terrible. It's almost like they're not even trying. It, it doesn't offense. make any sense. It's a, it was fascinating to me though is like it's a quarterback league and you got they can't come off these quarterbacks. It's the same thing with Zach Wilson. He's never going to be a good NFL right. quarterback. Mm-hmm. But you I think have they did. to move on. They moved you know? on from him. Right. Two forward, years. Right? I would take Mac Jones over Zach Wilson. Well, that's the debate, right? Is like what would Mac Jones do in the Jets' offense? I heard that twenty five times this past weekend, and it's like 
Who cares? It, but know, there's a like, difference. They're, move on. I think we have more weapons than the Patriots. You've got, oh, definitely. You've got the Rams. They went and got Stafford, won a Super Bowl. You got the Bucks. They got Brady, won a yep. Super Bowl. It's the same thing. The Jets tried to do the same exact thing. Right. The Patriots need to move on. Womp, womp. He's I, never I, going to be that's what I don't understand. an NFL and quarterback. You put Mac Jones on the Jets and you ask him to do what you're asking Zach Wilson to do. Now, on the Pats, Belichick is definitely screaming at him, don't turn it over. Don't force a play. We'd rather punt than anything. And that's why the guy's 0-13 against teams that scored 24 points because they're not putting up points. That's why he's never, ever, ever in three years had a fourth quarter drive to come back and win the game. It's right. never happened. And he's had multiple opportunities. He's had double-digit opportunities. He's really, like, I looked at those stats I was shocked by. I couldn't believe that. Well, then what do you think the plan is with Belichick? What do you, what do you think the plan Because he's never going to lose enough where he's got a number three right. pick. Well, what's weird about him, too, is like he's just like, he's also so fucking hard-headed. Go get a wide receiver. Like, at least try something. Yeah. You know? Yeah. They have two guys that are, like, number three fours yeah. on any other team, and that's who they're trying to use as their— I thought they would use the tight ends more. Yeah. I Me thought too. they would that's usually use what he those does. two, but they're not even throwing to him. You know, they're throwing to Henry a little bit, yeah, but yeah, they're not using Grisecki at all. No, Grisecki, I don't which, know. I mean, he's— Still, though, it's not an, a great it's tight an end, but option, though. I mean, in the, Miami, the guy's a hell he had athlete. He, you know, he can catch it. Right. He can go down the field. He just can't block. Right. So— He's only going to get out there in split formations, and he wants to. He essentially is going to run the Kelsey position, that kind of more of a wide receiver than you are a tight end. But once he's, he's not, he's not nearly as good as the other guys that could do that position. He's not nearly as good as a. I know Kyle Pitts. They don't throw him. They refuse to throw him the ball. But he's he's not as good as Kelsey is. Right. So if you can't block and you're not that that standout stud, nobody's got any use for you. Miami's in trouble. Uh, New England's in trouble. They'll be. The why doesn't Why, why doesn't um, Bell? <laughs> Don't do that. I love it. I love how high he is <laughs> to and then low. how fucking low he is. They're going to win by three It's amazing. No. It's amazing. 14 and 0. Oh, God. Belichick. You're not going into the, the last 14 You're games. killing. You're killing. 14 and 0. Shut up. <laughs> He's been against the Jets. Um, why do you think Belichick hasn't gotten and got people? Like, that's usually what he does. He goes, he'll get like anybody and make them into a superstar. I feel like it's a try and win without money situation. Right? Yeah. Prove you're smarter than so he could have full control, be smarter than everybody else, and he not spending a lot of money. Let's see what we could do. Get some playoffs. He's had one wide receiver at Randy Moss. That was it. Right. right. He never had anyone. Like, you if know? Brady had you know, one or two studs, how yeah, good could they have been? You know? Right. Would they have been that great? Or Gronkowski. it's also tough to Hernandez. figure out into that, that system. Because I always said, like, yeah, Belichick was wasn't great with the good. Browns. Wasn't Jeez, terrible. Wasn't great. Better. The reason he was so good is... They won early because of the defense and the schemes. So they won early, and then as you brought these these kind of whack jobs in, you know, he brought uh, Ocho Cinco in. He, he brought even when he brought Randy Moss in, you would continually bring in these guys that were quote unquote ring chasing. But they'd come in, and it was like you have to fall into that system, and you have to be a Belichick right, guy. You have to be a guy, right? Yep. There's there's no standouts. There's no essentially the no I and team bullshit. Like that's what he that's what he preaches. Right. You don't have a pedigree. You don't have a background. You can't do that. So all, when all his coaches leave him and go coach at other, you know, organizations stuff like that, they try to do similar things, and it doesn't work because you don't have that pedigree, you don't have that background. So when an Eric Mangini is telling me something, you know, the guy's a twenty-seven-year-old defensive lineman is looking at him, going, "Who the fuck are you? Like, right. shut up! You haven't won anything." So you're not going to get those guys to buy into your into that system. So you got to figure out another way. It's true. Well, listen, I had New England at what plus two, right, or minus two. They were plus two at home. Yeah. I don't feel bad about that bet at all until I heard that they were on their fourth string corner. And I was like, all yeah. right, this game's over. <laughs> yeah, and that's why he just <laughs> played that. This game's absolutely over. Essentially, they nobody to defend. Played an umbrella all night yeah. long. Ridiculous. They'll still beat the Jets by three touchdowns. Stop game. it. God, even I'm trying to get on the Jets side a little bit. Who's yeah. going to score that game? That's what's, it, that's what's hysterical. Who's going to score? The last, yeah. like... Zach Wilson against the Pats is hysterical because of the ghosts. Because he sees ghosts. It'll be them. somewhat close. I don't think so because I just think he's just going to outcoach them. You know, like yeah, I, everybody I, I, knows what to do against the Jets now. Right. You know, mm-hmm. it's eight in the box and just get there. That's what happened two weeks in a row. Mm-hmm. You know, Johnny Paulay f- found them out in two weeks. Jets have found. <laughs> yeah, until they win next week and he comes in with face paint on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're going to the Super Bowl. I'm seeing an AFC Championship game. <laughs> listen, listen. In the next four weeks, we That's got this AFC. Point. There's not going to be stats. We'll see. Uh, my biggest surprise is Baker Mayfield. 
That's it. The guy's got 400 plus yards, three TDs, no interceptions. He's doing it right. Did you see the stuff with uh, him calling out the signals? He no. uh, at halftime, he, he came to the locker room. Some guy was saying it on one of the things. He uh, came to the locker room. He goes, "All right, when they signal this, when the coach does this, it means cover two. When he does this, they're going to three. When they do this, it's a cover six. When they do this, it's a you know quarters." He picked up on their defensive calls, right. audibles, and signals by halftime. Like one, that's terrible for the other team. Two, like. Holy shit, this guy's he's, cere- he's getting cerebral too? Uh oh. Yeah. yeah. Like you're almost selling me on hoping that it's real because I do like I do. The guy, I like watching the guy play. But I won't be surprised if he throws three interceptions next game and loses hard. What about the comparison between him and Deshaun Watson? Deshaun Watson looks like garbage. So it's like he's making nine point five million his contract's nine point five million and Watson yep. is two forty. Four and four as a Cleveland Brown. It's crazy. It's ridiculous. It's a huge waste of money. Huge waste of money. That's crazy. Question is, do they buy a running back? Do they have money for a running back? Who are they going to get? I, I think Kareem Hunt they signed today. Oh, are you serious? I they so, met yeah. with He met with them. I didn't know Kareem Hunt isn't in the league because he doesn't think he got a good enough offer <laughs> yeah, from yeah. another fucking yeah. team. I'm like, are you crazy? <laughs> yeah. Wow. No one wants to work. Uh, Cleveland. <laughs> 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 First down, dogs. We're good. All right, Kathleen, you're up first. Are we back? Yeah, we're back. We're always back. <laughs> Give me a pick. I got to fucking drop off my paperwork that Heather stole. Um, all right, so my first pick, which I know you're already going against, but it's fine. Would you take a look at his paper? Are you taking the fucking Jets again? Stop it's, looking at my shit. No. Oh. <laughs> Fuck the New York teams, 100%. I wanted to pick the Jets money line, but I fucking didn't. <laughs> I was. I'm gonna bet. But you stop doing drugs. I just, I just started to talk bad about them instead the whole time. <laughs> I want to start talking. Trash the truth. my team. Um, Chicago at Kansas City. Chicago is just not good. Field another two interceptions last game. I'm taking the under 47 and a half. Wow. Don't love that. Sorry. Yeah, I am because if if the Bears are shit. I don't know if Kansas City's going to go over 48 points by themselves. I'm taking the over, 47 and a half. Ooh, the Bears opposite. are fucking so bad, but I'm not even worried about that. The Chiefs have yet to break out last week. The Jaguars last week, yeah, not a great game, but it's no. happening. It's going to happen this week. They are going to put up over 48 points on the Bears by themselves. I don't know if Kelsey's playing. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Mahomes got something to prove. He's got two hundred and ten guaranteed million dollars to celebrate. It's true. Over that's, the next three years, this is a true statement that you just made. I think they hit themselves. Lots of money. Well, we go over uh, so far where we are as far as like trends on the on the weeks. Last week was overs huge. All, overs all the time for the overs. Mm-hmm. So the first week it was dominated by the unders. Last week was thirteen and three on overs. Um, underdogs won again nine six and one last week. Underdogs for the season are at sixty one percent. Road teams, 20, 11, and 1. Road teams are like 62%, I want to say, 63%. And unders in primetime games are 5 and 2. Primetime unders. People love them. It's amazing. Mm-hmm. I was really worried that you Thir- were going to say you were going to take KC minus 13 and a half. Oh, God, yeah. No, that's crazy. I almost want the Bears at plus 13 and a half. I'm not, <laughs> even, I'm not even lying to you. I might come back to it. That line's insane. And the line's that's a insane. big line. All right. I mean, Fields threw mm. over 200 yards this week. You got to mm. watch out. He's <laughs> slowly getting there. <laughs> He's slow. He's so big. Did you watch any of the cut-ups? You know what was super oh uh, surprising and almost my uh, most in, uh, most biggest surprise was Claypool getting a goddamn touchdown. Yeah, that was a nice yeah. touchdown. Too. I mean, geez Louise. I think Jeez he didn't score that they cut him. I, the I people in Chicago will hate him. He's terrible. He's not a good player. Stop. That's a New Orleans boy. The Chiefs are due. <laughs> They're not due. Yes, they are. <laughs> We're gonna, it actually week. it actually does make me a little nervous going against you because you are on a He's roll. Hot. Side He's bet, hot. side bet. But what's the side bet? What's the side bet? One loss can be my win, so it's okay. It's very true, but there could be a side bet. Side bet. What's where's the my, side bet? Where's my Doritos? Oh <gasps> shit! You have to remind me. <laughs> double Doritos now. <laughs> they're they're Italian Doritos. Now it's double Doritos. All, All right, right. I am uh, jumping right into it. I hate the point five at. Added to this spread. But the hook? Now, you know what? Detroit, Atlanta. We're going over 45 and a half. 
Wow. All right. I wanted Detroit. I like Detroit. If it was three or under, I would have probably went hard on Detroit, especially after coming off that loss. Very disappointed in that loss. Uh, over 45 and a half. Detroit could score. I'm pretty sure Atlanta could score. I mean, the, the running back came through last week with 100 yards. Kenyon Drake sighting. Kenyon Drake sighting? He got a touchdown. For who? Know. Atlanta? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah, they don't need him. Pitts, too? Well, they don't need that guy. Pitts was terrible again. He scored again. He scored last week. Did he really? Both of them. Uh, there must have been some late well, scoring watching. at that soccer game that we <laughs> yeah, were at. Yeah. <laughs> there must have been some late scoring. No, I do. I, Atlanta two and zero is is shocking to everybody. I think these teams are going to put up points in the dome in Detroit, going over. 45. The Lions is a good last, bet. Lions last ten games at home, combined score has been over fifty one every time. Wow, keep it up, keep that's it up, a, people. That's a, that's a lot of fucking points. That's a lot of points. It's a good bet. I'm jumping in on it. I uh, I'm taking Detroit minus three and a half. <laughs> Um, I just can't bet on again on anybody with a quarterback named Desmond Ritter. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't see them going three and out. But I really are, can't. Are they all healthy? I don't know. Well, they, they like lost Montgomery's out, right? Yeah. Montgomery's out. Yes. But that's but fine. But they got kids. Yeah, that that could be a good thing. Yeah. It's Absolutely. enough of him. Um, what about uh Amon Ross, say Brown? I th- well, it's Brown. Reynolds. I think it's a bruise. I think it's a bruised leg. It's a, or yeah, a bruised hammy or something like that. It's not, it's nothing crazy, crazy that I think he should play. Goff got that pick streak out of the way, and he's going to start a new one. There you go. There you go. I still don't trust Goff. Lions minus three and a half. I'm going to take that with you. You convinced me. Wow. All right. You got the uh, the Lions are 8-3 and three against the spread in their last 11. They're putting up a ton of points at home, like you said. Uh, Atlanta is not that good. Desmond Ritter is not that good. Watch a lot of him play. Not that good. <laughs> Say it again. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to turn the TV on and everyone's hyping this guy up. I'm like, all right, yeah, I enough, enough, enough. I don't get it you know, either. Everybody was hyping up Jordan Love after one week, talking yep. about he's the next coming, and then the guy had a quarterback sneak and forgot the fucking ball. Yep. Watson did that twice. Robinson is nasty. Yeah, but Watson him. did that while getting a massage. <laughs> See, like, the thing with Jesus. the Falcons is all of those guys we just talked about, Drake, Pitts, Robinson – Talented crew, but like I just can't get behind the quarterback. You got to need a real quarterback. They're an, they're an old name team, you know. There's a lot of teams like that. They got I guys. know one. Yeah, they got guys. Like when you start mentioning it, like, oh, that guy's good. Oh, that guy's good. They got guys. Right. We got Katie. My next one. I love that she goes first. It's great. So much pressure, isn't it? No, because I have my picks done. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, good for you, too. Are they good picks? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> um, if you go 5-0, and oh, you're still under 500. Go on. Okay, <laughs> asshole. Oh, oh, my God. <laughs> I'm sorry. I had a shot. I had a dick once. <laughs> um, I'm taking your squad. I'm going with the Dolphins. Oh, the fans? Oh, I, don't, I don't like them in that spot. <laughs> what? I'm just, I'm, I'm weary. I'm weary about them. All right. Well, you, I'm taking you, Broncos at Miami, minus six and a half Miami. Tua is shutting up the doubters. I love this for him. Um, They run it with Raheem. They throw to Hill and Waddle. They have a lot of just talent on the team. I'll take them at home, minus six and a half. Also, Russell Wilson only has a total of 485 yards. Tua is crushing him on total yards right now. So, yeah, Miami. Big Fangio revenge game. I just, I hope Sean Payton just, I can't stand him. I just keep fucking burying that motherfucker. He became such a heel. Where did that come from? Hate him. I mean, it wasn't always like that. (laughs) Hate him. You've been, that's a consistent um, thing you've said every week. Soften him up for the Jets next week. Is there two Monday night games again? Yes. Yes. Why? I don't know. I hate it. Apparently they're going to do it a couple, I think there's one more a week after this. First of all, I don't ever want to see my team with a split screen again. I can't do the split screen thing. I got the horrible New Orleans Carolina game in the corner. It was the two worst games of the week. I, what? All right, if you, you're gonna you're gonna go crazy, it was sloppy. Pittsburgh and Cleveland. I that was an entertaining Bro, those first, game. The first half of both Come of those games on. was unwatchable. The first half of the <laughs> they Cleveland, were so there was fumbles galore, <laughs> interceptions galore. I mean, it was amazing. It was amazing. That was amazing. It's messy. <laughs> I, I told you I watched, I think, three plays. Entertaining. Wow. And I was like, fuck. I had, I have, 
New Orleans in my suicide pool. Turn the turn the game on because I was watching this uh, the other game. I agree with you. The New Orleans game was boring yeah, as so, hell. Right, but I was watching that, and then I was like, oh, let me check out the Steelers. Threw on the Steelers, and it was the three worst plays they had in the entire game. And I was like, fuck me. <laughs> turn this game off. And then they came back and won. Dude, that Steeler game was fantastic. I loved it. All right, I'm going uh, Rams-Cincinnati. I'm taking another over, 43 and a half. Th- these guys are going to score. They're going to they're gonna go nuts. I mean, as long as Burroughs is playing, <laughs> we're going to get scores back and forth. I mean, listen, Puka, another 150 yards out of this guy. It, it, they do nothing but score. And I think, I think it's just going to be back and forth. Cincinnati is going to do anything they can to, can to get a W out of this game. Mm. So they're just, they're just going to keep on going. Their defense has not shown up Their yet. Their defense is terrible. They have not yeah. shown up at all. I, I see it as a barn burner. Puka was uh, Zach Wilson's wide receiver at BYU. Was he really? Yeah. That's a oh, fun man. fact. Glad, I like Puka. He the Rams got rushed the good it guy. in fantasy, too. Nice bet. I feel like that's such a... Like that line doesn't make sense to me. No, it doesn't. Well, make I want to know what we got to look up. What that line was before the season started. That look ahead line. How the hell are you going to look at that game line before the? This guy's season? probably got some log into something. No, they, they put <laughs> They put lines out for every the game. Eighty two dollar. Uh, the eighty two dollar package deal that you buy. <laughs> no, it's way more than eighty two dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just hope everybody plays, and I, I think that'll be a fun game. That should be a shootout. I, a I would hope so. You hope it's a shootout just for football fans. It seems low, Fun. right? Seems I was low. expecting like 47 on that Might game. be wrong. I don't, know who we, I don't know. I'm going 43 and a half. <laughs> <laughs> it's set in stone. All right. Trip, you're up. I am going over 54 and a half Los Angeles Chargers at Minnesota Vikings. Wow. 54 and a half is a lot of fucking it's points. a lot. A lot of points. points. I'm just going. I looked at it. and I was like, "That's too many points. That's it's crazy." A lot of points. Even even though both teams have been scoring, that's too many points. It makes it stuck out like a sore thumb. It made no sense to me why it's that high. Someone knows something. I don't know. I'm taking over 54 and a half. I'm with you on that one. Wow, my man. I wanted to bet this game that's so a bad, lot. but the Chargers and the fucking Ugh. Vikings. Ugh. You cannot bet pick either one sure of those teams. Mm-hmm. Sure you can. No, you can't. I'm mm-hmm. doing it. They're both of those teams. <laughs> Both of those teams are throwing the shit out of the ball. Explosive passing from both of them. That game's definitely going over. Yeah. Well, when I think of Kirk Cousins, I always think of explosive. Yeah. Listen, yeah. Eckler's out. Minnesota is dying for a win. I'll take the one and a half. I'll, 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 You're I'll taking give the them. Vikings? Give, I'm taking the I'm That's going Vikings. Why, would you, do that? why would you do that? Vikings one more time. Jefferson is going to get two TDs. Definitely. He better. No, otherwise, no Eckler, he's going to flip out. Yeah, no Eckler is shot. really the, the key of this game. I'm going Minnesota. It's a, it's a do or die win. Eckler's definitely not playing? Eckler's, I, I'm yeah. pretty sure he's like 90% not playing. There's no timetable on him Damn, for like two weeks. <laughs> so I'm, I'm taking Minnesota. What did you half. say about Minnesota? Minnesota you I'm doing it with the, the only game. two Minnesota yeah. Vikings. I'm taking the Vikings. <laughs> I have to. That's scary. That's terrifying. It's super terrifying. I will that, not pick the Vikings once this year. That is Kirk Cousins <laughs> no, at I 1 o'clock. That him. is Kirk Cousins at 1 o'clock at home. He's doing it. 522 <laughs> yards. So he's throwing the Jets job. I'm telling you. We'll take him. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I think, I, have, I think I'm done. I think I got all my picks in. You don't have five. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely have three or four. Three. Katie, Where you at, Katie? I'm up. I'm taking Pittsburgh at the Raiders. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Minus one. Staying away from that game. I don't want any extra headaches. <laughs> <laughs> but you're t- you just took the Vikings. Yeah, I know. That's a heart attack. I'm, I don't want a double whammy on the Steelers. Yeah, Pittsburgh at the Raiders, minus one. I have a soft spot for Devontae Adams forever since he was on the Packers, but the Raiders are bad. They got demolished by the Bills last week. Jimmy threw two interceptions. Pickett went from two interceptions to one interception last week. So yeah. maybe this is the week he goes to zero. And He's like, not doing that's how well. Just plays good. He's not doing well. We'll see what happens. But yeah, um, I'm taking Pitt minus one. Hopefully they can get the win. The only thing I could possibly say is Garoppolo might not make it through that game. Yeah. He's... So that's a very, it's a good bet in that sense. He might Did, not make it. I saw something today. TJ Watt is the sack leader. For yeah, I saw that too. 80, 81 and a half. I have Harrison. no idea. How is it not Kevin Green? He's so good. Any of those guys. Yeah. 
I couldn't believe it, and I didn't think it was real. And by the and Greg Lloyd, Green, like gee, anybody I'm, from that era. If I'm wrong, didn't he score a return fumble against Kansas City? The only the only TD that they scored in the playoffs. He scored the, didn't that. Didn't Watt get that touchdown because they were saying that was his first career touchdown. Well, I thought I he did. Um, I could have sworn he slid into the end zone in the beginning of that KC playoff game. Mm-hmm. And I, I didn't get a chance to look it up. Brother. Again, Maybe they I can't believe it back. he's the leader. I, I was shocked by that stat. With that, all the defenses that team has had. Oh, wow, that's yeah. so I love fast. Kevin Green. Oh, my God. I, I used to love that, all of their defenses. Yeah. That's so what, good. That's what got me into them, man. Bill Cower and that defense. Jesus. Fuck, like Steelers. Fuck the Steelers. I was like, there's, there's no way. And I saw <laughs> it on multiple channels. I'm not 0 2. <laughs> that's a stinky game to pick. Hey, there's a Josh lot Jacobs. of stinky games. I mean, listen, they always suck against the Raiders, but they should win that game. Yeah, they should. They should absolutely win that game. Josh Jacobs By one nine point, carries. they should freaking win the game. game. Nine carries for minus two yards. Josh Jacobs. The whole game? Yeah. Oh, that was his stat line for the last game. That's awful. That's right. terrible. He did start throwing to Pickens, too. Remember, you said that after week one. Yeah. He had a touchdown. Yeah. He yeah, gave me yeah. that one. That was good. Oh, good. Listen, you got to throw to him. That guy, Warren, got them moving a little bit. My name's not fucking Warren. <laughs> Najee looked pretty bad, though. Najee was bad last year. He was just looking around, trying to find a hole. If Chubb played that <laughs> game, they would have won. <laughs> what, is that dirty? Yeah. He was just looking around, trying to bit. find a hole. A little like bit. Detroit Lions. <laughs> you're, you're a Lions game? <laughs> 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 All right, who goes? I just fell asleep in the middle of this. I have three. You got to wake up, boy. Imagine sitting at a football the game pig. talking about water sports. <laughs> just as you're sitting there watching your team. That's fucking crazy. I have uh, I'll go. I got two started. in. I'll go. I'm going to take the under in the Baltimore Ravens and Indianapolis Colts game. Colts, uh, don't know who the quarterback's going to be. Um, it should definitely be Minshew because there's no way if you had a concussion, you're perfectly okay to play on Sunday. Unless they have the Dolphins you doctor <laughs> from uh, last week. <laughs> yeah. The guy self-reported the concussion, too. It wasn't like they yeah. saw it on a replay. He walked in and said, I have a boo-boo on my head. Mm-hmm. And they're like, all right, you're out. Right. Uh, Ravens haven't looked that great on offense. I think the Ravens roll. I think it's. Uh, I think it's. could be a blowout. You know, 31-3 kind One of game. One way Baltimore. Yeah. But I think it's going to go under. I'm going to take under 44 and a half. Ravens also been uh, under in, the last, in 10 out of the last 11 at home. I'm actually jumping in on that because those are my last two picks. But I'm going – I have this game – Two ways, which I you made me think of this because you almost did this last week. I've been wanting to do that. I have the under 44 and a half also. Week three is hard. Um, but <laughs> I, <laughs> I'm saying that. I did it on purpose. But I have Indy plus eight and a half because even though Richardson might not be playing self-diagnosed, like you said, Minshew did good. He was 19 for 23. Like he did good. He won that game. They, he's, he's Gardner Minshew. What? He's a cult. Oh, yeah. Cult favorite. So, whatever. Yeah, I'm taking the under 44 and a half and also plus eight and a half. Nice. I like it. it we should come up with a name boys. for that. You double know? The old double banger? Yeah. Double <laughs> the devil's three way. <laughs> An Eiffel like Tower? <laughs> yeah. You said the devil's three way? <laughs> yeah, you never had one of those? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> what are you on Thursday? <laughs> no. Not yet. <laughs> What are you guys doing this weekend? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we can celebrate soccer. I think <laughs> I think I'll go because you have one more, right? And you have two more? I have two more, I think. I have two more. Oh, all right. I got two more, too, so I'll go. Um, I am going with the other Monday night game. I can't believe there's two Monday night games. I like Baker Mayfield. I'm respecting him right now, but I think he's going to get a slap to the face this time. I'm going plus. I'm going minus five and a half on Philadelphia. They haven't run away from anybody yet this year. They haven't shown their true colors. I think they're gonna. I think they're gonna get them down. I think they're gonna get to Baker, and they'll be the first one to shake him up. You don't think they ran away last week? I mean, hundred and nine thousand yards. Where do they play? They do let them, their opponents hang around a little. They bit. they let them hang around a little bit. It was it's it's still not the. Hertz isn't throwing yet. He's not connecting with Brown yet. He's not. You know it's. It's one or the other with them. That's the problem. He can never get uh, Brown and what, Smith, what's the other guy? Smith. Smith, 100 yards each. They never get 100 yards no, each. No, because they have 200 rushing. <laughs> True. 
True. I, I think they're going to take control of this game. And it, and it's I, I checked to see if it was Tampa's first home game. Not that that doesn't matter anymore, but it's not. So I think I think Philly's going to take it to the house. Minus five and a half. I'm Going taking, against your Baker Mayfield. I'm taking Tampa Bay plus five. Yes. yes. I love Tampa, oh. too. Side bet. I love Tampa in this Side game. bet. <laughs> <laughs> five and a half points is like what Vegas doesn't know what to do with the line. No. It's just Philly's going to win by a touchdown. Baker, Mike Evans, not that old. Not as old as we That's thought. That's a scary pick. He's yeah. in his 30s. I can go one way or the other. Give me the bucks in this one. I'm sticking with him. Riding with him till he hurts me. I figured you had to stick with him. Plus you know what? Minutes. Honestly, it's been working for you. So, I, th- I figured he had to stick with him. So do I bet. we all so I have bet. something against him? We're gonna have to do something. Him? What do you want to do? So I'll I jump bet. in. I'll jump in a side bet because I like the Bucks too, but I'm not gonna take him on the card. Well, then you don't count. So I bet. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take your kids to soccer this weekend. Oh, if they lose, <laughs> next weekend. aren't you the coach? <laughs> no, not for oh. the girls. Oh, I'm coach girls. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Kidding, guys. It's a comedy show. First down dogs. <laughs> <laughs> what have you been on lately? Nothing. I'm Fucking excited. Holy shit. Somebody loves The wave chases are setting in. It's the, uh, <laughs> now sponsored by Montauk. The Fruit yeah. Force? What was the, uh, the <laughs> yeah. IPA? Force Ranger, whatever the fuck it is. Fruit Ranger. Fruit Ranger. <laughs> Holy shit. Kurt does have some sponsorships. I'm putting down my bets. You've been spicy as hell. All right, I got four in. So I got three. You got to be. Go ahead. Um, my next one. I'm going to take uh, another under. Shocker. The under in the Denver Miami game. Under 48 and a half. Um, I think I Den- like that bet. I think Denver is going to come in, play it smart. Same thing that Patriots did. They're going to keep everything in front of them. I try as hard as they can. Hmm. I believe uh, Miami has not put up as many points as they fucking should. Like. They they keep stalling out a little bit. They've been staying. I think Denver is terrible, but Russ is looking better and better and better, which is a little scary. They do have a weapon or two, but still, I think not enough to, to hit that over. So I'm going to go under 40 and a half. They give up a big lead. They give up a big lead last week. Um, Jacksonville running back. Is he out? ATN. I don't know. ATN. I can't say I sure. never say his name. ATN. ATN? ATN. Is that ATN? French? Etienne. <laughs> I think it's French. I don't know what that is. Etienne. Etienne. It's like Creole. We don't know. It's Asian. Because I really Asian. like Houston at nine and a half, but. No. You know, we're not allowing you to bet the fucking Texas. That's crazy. They look. Do, I mean, do what he, let him do what he wants to do. Nine and a half is a lot of points. All right. I'm going to do it. Let's go. I don't know what I want to do. It's fucking drama. I Let's have that one. And I have pick. To, we should have that uh, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire music just waiting as I try and make my pick. Um, listen, I said it last week. I cannot bet anywhere near this Carolina fucking quarterback. He's not good. He is. He doesn't even have a motion on the field from what I saw on Monday night. I'm taking Seattle, even though I don't like Seattle. I'm taking Seattle at home, minus five and a half. I um, they beat Detroit, right, last week? They came back, beat Detroit, mm-hmm. put a lot of points on the board. Wide receivers went nuts. Wide receivers went nuts. Lockett went nuts. Uh, He's so fucking good. So good. I'm going Seattle. He's 30. Imagine I'm he going Seattle a, at minus five and a half. So good. Man, I'm taking a lot of points this week. So it's the way to go. It's going to swing back. We'll see how that runs. All right, I got one pick left. Who else got one pick? I got one pick left. All right, make your pick. Eight and two. He's got to say. Oh, all right. He's got to say. Oh, Plus, take it's take another game. over under. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh. why I, I didn't jump on the other games. Uh, no, I'm taking. Uh, I'm not gonna take an over. I'm taking the Arizona Cardinals plus twelve and a half at home against the Dallas Cowboys. Take those points. A lot of fucking points. Twelve and a half points. Home dog. Divisional game. Gotta love those things. Not really true division. They used to be in the NFC. They're not now, but still same thing. They got a rivalry there. Uh, most importantly, though, one, I don't think Dallas is as good as they are. I'm going to stick by that that take until uh, either I'm proven wrong by next year or I'm proven right. <laughs> Lastly, uh, I am infatuated with the Arizona saying? Cardinals. <laughs> what are you saying? I'm right getting now? to my point that you're going to hate that the Arizona Cardinals. has no eyebrows. <laughs> he looks like a uh, naked mole rat. He looks like uh, a certain part of my anatomy when I come out of the shower. Oh, my God. 
The dude is powdered with a tan somehow, if that's possible. <laughs> it's amazing. So I need to watch the game. I hate the Cowboys. So I'm going to watch this game just because I want to watch this guy. It's amazing. To me. Dude, that Can fucking we go? run he had against the Giants. I mean, if I'm a Giants fan, I might just mail it in right there. He just trucked that fucking DV. Yo, oh, my God. Giants, so Giants were almost done for the season. That guy is the weirdest looking motherfucker I've He's ever seen. He's the ugliest quarterback to ever play in the league. Like, there's Garden Menchu. <laughs> oh, my uh, you God. had Andrew Luck, who was kind of creepy looking. Andrew Luck was creepy. Yeah, yeah that, that beard, that, that voice. This guy takes the cake. Andrew Luck was creepier too after he retired. Like maybe, maybe he's awesome, <laughs> but nobody has to make him the face of their franchise. <laughs> Do anybody want a peanut? <laughs> oh my god! All right, my last pick. I hate that pick, Arizona. He's taking points. That's all he's doing right there. He came into this building with four picks. I mean, <laughs> yeah, no picks. He came in the building with no picks. She watched, she watched me make all my picks as I was sitting here. Okay. Uh, he gives me anxiety. Preseason darlings, the Cleveland Browns. They're three and a half point favorites against the Tennessee Titans. I'm going with like the old reliable Tennessee Titans. Love it. Okay. Love it. Ryan love Tannehill, love Derrick Henry, yeah. DeAndre Hopkins, Sean Watkins, we talked talk about before. It's, it's a, he's a mess. Pervert. He's a mess. <laughs> he's throwing his wiener around. Yep. Is there gonna be an episode where we don't talk about a penis? Do you get a massage Probably after not. that Monday night game that oh, you lose like that? Oh, yeah, like totally. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he gets two. Two or three. Gonna, like, he's, he's very depressed. Oh my god. <laughs> you gotta forget about it. You gotta gonna fucking die. forget about that one. I would have smoking. It. I would have took it the other way. I would have said no massage. <laughs> that guy doesn't go without a massage. How do you go through 47 massage therapists in one area? Oh How many God. massage therapists are there? No, it's way more than that. <laughs> All right, let's say half of them are really massage therapists, the other, and the other half are, are not. That's still a lot of massage therapists no. to go through. And not some of them many. are males. No? There's so many on Backpage. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> Finish your pick. <laughs> Oh All right, uh, I got the Titans plus three and a half. So my picks, the Titans plus three and a half, over 54 and a half, Chargers, Vikings, the Lions minus three and a half, a lot of hooks here. Uh, the Chiefs and the Bears over 47 and a half, and the Baker Mayfield led Tampa Bay Bucks plus five and a half. I'm going against your Baker Mayfield. What? What? <laughs> what are you doing, what? slam poetry right now? <laughs> Harry Ed. <laughs> Sweet Harry Ed. Eagles. <laughs> Eagles minus five and a half. The over oh, in funny. Cincinnati Rams, 43 and a half. Uh, I got the over in Atlanta, Detroit, 45 and a half. Seattle minus five and a half. And I'm going the Minnesota Vikings at minus one and a half. You're going you're gonna to regret <laughs> that. Oh, that's, my God. I can't believe it's a I, you're gonna regret I have that. to. You're going to regret that. I wanted Chicago, but I'm going Minnesota. Even worse. I know. That's why I'm going Minnesota. <laughs> God damn. I'd rather have Scott go. Yeah. That game is, oh, it's such a scary game. Eh, we're going to live it. All right, get the picks. Yeah. I got to. All right. Uh, <laughs> I got Mr. Bigglesworth and the Cardinals minus 12 and a half. Uh, plus 12 and a half. I got the under in the Denver-Miami game under 48 and a half. I have the under in the Indianapolis-Baltimore game 44 and a half. I got the over in the Chargers-Minnesota game 54 and a half. And I got the Detroit Lions and that awesome fan minus three and a half points at home. <laughs> what if we ever find out who that guy is? You can definitely. Oh, I'm definitely sure they know. Yeah. I bet you, you know, that, that local Fox station knows who he is. The person who submitted that picture 100% has a picture of the actual guy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, taking the under 47 and a half in the Chicago KC game. Indy plus eight and a half. Under 44 and a half points for Indy at Baltimore. The devil's Pit. straight away. Double banger. <laughs> <laughs> Pitt minus one. And then trips Miami Dolphins versus Broncos minus six and a half. All right. There we go. You I got feel another work. stressful week coming up. I can't wait. I love it. Can't wait. It's so much fun. I know. God. And, and I, feel like, I feel like I like have more leeway in watching these games too lately. Why? The kids are older. They're doing their own thing. I'm able to, like, tell them to leave <laughs> while I watch a game. It's amazing. You want to go on a hike this weekend instead? 
no. Right. <laughs> you should. I'll go on. You Saturday. should have more. To keep to keep them young and keep yourself young. Just stop. It. That's that the was, trick. That was a silly thought that you had. <laughs> a silly thought. <laughs> that was a silly a thought. Silly thought. That you thought. Had. <laughs> Want to take any bonus picks on the Giants 49ers game on Thursday? I would I go do. with the under. I would take the under. I'm taking I was the I was gonna take the over. Amen. Order over a, 44 and a half. Really? Over? Side bet? Over. Over <laughs> because either the Giants keep up again and score a bunch of points like they did last week, or they get destroyed by the Niners and the Niners score. Nobody over destroys anybody on Thursday night. Well, yeah. also like you all never know. not playing. He's out. They're all up. tired. You don't know. Minus 44 and a half. Well, the thing oh, about like no 100%. team, I don't Listen. think there's ever been a team in history that's been more fucked by what just happened to the Giants. What do you mean? They're in Arizona for a Sunday game, a right. Sunday afternoon game. And then they have to go to the 49ers on three days rest on the West they, Coast. They should have stayed, stayed on the West Coast. The back. They did. They stayed out there. That's terrible. Mm. It's terrible. Yeah, they stayed there. They're terrible. So who cares? Yeah, they're really bad. They're we'll not see. a good football team. We'll see. That was a lucky. That was a lucky comeback, and it was a necessary comeback. Yeah, or else they were dead. Giants fans were really feeling themselves. That like, game, you beat the West, the are. worst team in the league. Yes, you know Ju- that game. Betting live, we said it. We texted each other we'll that see. game. That's why Was- and the Washington doing. game. Jesus, that's what I got to start. Those doing. two would have been amazing. I got to start going heavy when teams are dead yes. in half. You want to side bet? I'll side bet with you. What are we going to side? Bet? I don't know. We got to start thinking of these things before the show starts. Okay, side bets. Six wear a dress. Six pack of beer. Wear a dress. <laughs> yeah, it's got to be something familiar. Yeah. I am not wearing a dress. <laughs> That's no fun. Where is AJ? I don't know. He should come and Detroit sit Indian Rock style City. on the floor one day. Make With his picks. dress on? Make some pics. I, I don't want him sitting in style in a dress. <laughs> <laughs> Why? We talk about penises every freaking time. Yeah, there was a celebrity penises. <laughs> I don't want to know about their penises. I was looking at Brett Favre's dick the other day. Yeah, oh, so, my so God. I never looked it up. I looked at it a few months. I never looked it up. Shut up. I swear to God, I didn't. How I felt like imagine? it was going to be like red and weird. You, it's ba- you <laughs> the opposite. Visible. It's the opposite? Yeah, Very pale. Yeah, Very pale. <laughs> yeah. Borderline gray. Have you seen it? No. Really? What? No. I don't really care about his dick. I don't. Mm. <laughs> Clipping that. <laughs> <laughs> and using it for multiple things. <laughs> All right. All right, yo. First down dogs. First Take down two. dogs. First down, dogs.